Lavisery Productions presents Why You Cannot Be a Jehovah's Witness. First, let's see in the Webster's Dictionary the meaning of the word witness. Witness. One who sees or has personal knowledge of anything. To have direct knowledge. The one who sees with his eyes. As we can read here, to be a witness is necessary to have personal and direct knowledge of something or someone, that is, to see or hear something with your own eyes and ears to somebody directly, otherwise you can't be a real witness of somebody. According to his meaning, you are truly Jehovah's Witnesses. Let's see the book of Isaiah 43.12, the Bible text that is used by the watchtower to sustain their denomination as Jehovah's Witnesses. I have declared and have saved, I have made it heard, and there was no strange one among you. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and I am God. Isaiah 43.12 We can conclude then, according to the book of Isaiah 43.12 that we have just read, that is Jehovah who allowed listen his own voice personally and directly to the faithful men of the antiquity, so they could give testimony of his verbal mandates to the world as Jehovah's Witnesses. Definitively, the six million members of the Watchtower of the present century cannot be Jehovah's Witnesses since none of them have seen or heard talk to Jehovah God as it happened personally with the prophets and a lot of faithful men of the pre-Christendom. In other words, none of the so-called Jehovah's Witnesses of the present century can give testimony of having seen or heard Jehovah God giving his mandate personally at first hand to them. Thereby Jesus never told to his followers that they were Jehovah's Witnesses, because he knew very well that none of them had seen or heard to his father talk to them directly at first hand, as happened with the pre Christendom's faithful men. Anyhow Jesus followers and those who saw Jesus preaching personally were genuine witnesses of Jesus, but not of Jehovah. According to the Webster's Dictionary, nobody can be a witness of something or someone that he has not seen or heard talk to and therefore that person cannot be a witness, properly said. We can see very often that a lot of witnesses are called to declare in a court of law to give their testimony of what they have seen or heard on a particular case that is being judged in court. The witness cannot give testimony of something that he has not seen or heard with his own eyes or ears and much less testify something that other person told to the witness about the matter in judgment. If that were the case, that person would be dismissed for not to be an authentic witness in the court of law. This proof that Jesus could never have called to his true church as Jehovah's Witnesses, what is certain? is that Jesus told to his followers who accompanied him that they, and only them, would be his witnesses for the world, because they were personally watching and listening him preaching to testify as such later. My final reflection summarizes that this religious denomination not only is a false cult by his wrong teachings, but also because this cult has arrogated a wrong religious name that Jesus would never have conferred for his true church due to the clearly exposed reasons in this video. Think about it. Thank you very much.